Yes, that is right. Welcome to Wario World. That is Wario's greeting to you all. Him going and yeah, whatever. Anyway, welcome back to Wario World. Last week we went through the first level of the game, and I forgot something vitally important to this whole let's play. Dang it! I got er I got it perfect on the first level. I got all the treasures. I got all the sprite wings and stuff like that. But I forgot something important that I wanted to do personally. I forgot to do the Wario every time we get a red diamond, and I'll show you exactly what that what the Wario is. Okay. Now, uh, okay, one thing I gotta say. In Wario Land, shake it. Listen to this music. In Wario Land, shake it, there's a remix of this song in one of the levels. If any of you guys can spot it, you rock. Okay. Anyway, what you need to do is go ahead and break all these blocks. And then, ah, see? A thingy will be revealed and you'll get a treasure. Those are pretty easy to miss if you're not the type to break blocks needlessly. And we start off two seconds in the level, we got two treasures already, so yeah. But yes, this song is reused in Wario Land Shake It with a little bit of a remix on it. If you can spot it, post a comment. Anyway, surrounded by monsters, pull out a mad move to knock them out one blow. When you're holding a monster in the air, rotate the controlled stick to do a wild swing ding. Yeah, yeah. I already, I already told you guys how to spin monsters around. Come on. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, line up. Oh, yeah, bowling for monsters. Wait, no. Oh, yes, dear I. Okay, there's one thing I didn't show you. Uh, you can throw them with regular B. You can throw them, and then, you know, you can spin them, blah, blah, blah. But there's one other thing that you can do that actually becomes important later on. All right, Wild Swing Ding is a spinning move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one, they actually just told you about the one that you do, with the one I'm about to show you. Jump up here. Now, when you have an enemy, jump up in the air, press R, and you do a awesome pile driver and you destroy everything around you including the monster's brain cells uh where where'd he go dang it, i need him <laughs> all right just go back and get this one i guess okay now this is really annoying i really hate this but you gotta do it um you gotta spin them in the correct direction otherwise that won't open and so you gotta um use the spinning move and you gotta actually spin them around and stuff so this, these little spawner things will spawn enemies. I bet you would never have guessed that from any other game you've ever played, that spawners spawn enemies. Now you can destroy them, although you can only destroy it by doing this, uh, or by just using an enemy in one of the attacks. You, know, you can throw it, you can spin it, or you can do the pile driver. However, this gets much more hits than anything else. So you just want to do this. Now I think you get a lot of money for this. I know you. I know I'm getting a lot of money. Oh yeah, I love doing that. That's just fun. Just trampling a dozen enemies at once. That's just freaking fun. Ah, there we go. And right there, we get a bunch of money. Now the money doesn't really come in handy, except for a few things. Really, it's there for keeping yourself alive. Because as we all know, money is the root of all life. Yeah. How? What did you guys not know that? Of course, money is the source of all life. That and garlic. Uh, when you die, you can pay 500 coins to uh, revive yourself. Um, there are really only a couple of bosses in the game where I think you would die. However, those bosses will probably kill you pretty hard. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, here you get some dinosaurs. Now, right here, you see this thing, how it's metal-ish and not wooden like the other ones? Right here, you actually have to do a pile driver where you can't break through, and you can't get down to the red diamond. Okay. So, right here, you get just a little platforming thingy. I don't feel like jumping across there, so I'm not going to. So, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Oh, I hate these things. These get really annoying later on. As you can see, um, you use those things, you ride on them, and then you jump off them at the right time, and then you get boosted up. And here you get some basic moving block platforming. I'd say don't jump very much and then just walk across them, but it's your choice. Anyway, this is the thing that I forgot to do in the last part. We're gonna, every time we get a red diamond, at least if I remember to, we're going to do the Wario. Yeah, all it is is just spinning around, but yeah. Trust me when I say that there are those, that there are some segments of red diamond getting that will 
Oh, good ward. They will make you hate humanity for eternity. Okay, was there a switch down here? I don't remember there being one. Oh, well. Anyway, these are called glue globes. Yeah. I guess I just kind of forgot the name for a bit there, but yeah. Anyway, go ahead and come on down here. We're going to do another red diamond thingy. All right, what do we... Whoa. Now, you can go in here and get all the money if you're really greedy, like you should be, Wario. Ow, ow. Hey, ow. Yeah, you got a bazillion spike balls in here that are trying to prevent you from getting your money. You know what I say to them? I'm doing the Wario because I got it anyway. Eat it. Ow. Fine, I guess that's what I get for doing the Wario in the middle of their domain. Whatever. And of course, if you need money, I mean, oh, money. Oh, if you need money, we all need money. Okay. Um, if you need health, just use the, um, um, you know, garlic commands. Okay. Oh yeah, I love doing that. No, no, no. Oh, bad angle. Okay. <laughs> I. No, you can't move with the D-pad, so you can't uh, line yourself up uh, perfectly. Uh, sadly, but. Um, if you're careful, you can get it, but yeah, I'm just going to punch these ones. I just want to get across. And there's three. Okay, go ahead and jump over here. And you get a treasure. We get a, uh, like a vase. Oh, I almost made it. Okay, whatever. Anyway, this video has gone on a little bit long, even though we're still just in the beginning of the level. Jeez. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Don't try to jump over that because you're just going to fall. Um, you'll be able to jump over there later but not yet. Okay, now, these, oh, I hate these things, okay. They're like li little arenas, and there are these weird crystal guys here that will um, hurt you. They generate a force field around themselves, and um, you can only hit them by using their uh, respective spawn enemies. Um, so, yeah. Really annoying. Oh, wait, here we go. Got him. Yes, and once you're able to pick them up, the force field will disappear, and then you can walk around with them and then kill them. I just kill them. Of course, you can use them just like any other enemy. Just carry them around for a bit if you want, but yeah. Anyway, jump over here. Punch him in the face. There we go. I think you gotta punch him three times in a row. I don't really remember, but yeah. Okay. Now, once you do that, you can come back over here. Come on, get up. Oh, wait, no. We're already up here. Hold on. Jump down here. Punch your way through the guys. There we go. Yeah, and then you get this, a teapot. I think it had a fish on it. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, and you can just walk right back across them because it's awesome. Okay. No, we can walk across them because it's awesome. Whatever. That, uh. Sometimes I should be ashamed, but I'm not. Okay. Anyway, there's the first health power up we've seen. And there's the first one we've got. I don't know why they give you such an easy string of platforming right there. I mean, I guess it's just because it's the first one. Oh, crap. Nope, nope. Ah. Dang it. You're going to see that a lot in this Let's Play. Me falling off the edges and falling down here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This place, you can easily fall down into other areas. So, yeah. Uh, I oh, gosh. No, not this part. I really really hate wait do I hate this part I don't remember where I am <laughs> oh okay there we go good I made it through the good way now I just gotta make it back through the bad way right here we get a another tea thingy I don't know why Wario wants so many teapots I don't really expect him to be the tea drinking type anyway jump over these things and we get a health power up yay okay this is the really hard part go away die Give me a big one, thank you. That's what she said, give me a big one. Eh. Okay, man, look at all the money we have already. Okay, now. Oh wow, I actually did it on my first try, dang. Normally what happens there is I try to spin and I just end up uh, accidentally going over the edge. Here we go. Um, the charge that you do when you're using the shoulder dash or the shoulder ram thingy, I don't know what you would call it. It actually goes further than your normal jump. So if you need any more distance, well, wait, no. It goes higher than your normal jump, sorry. If you need extra height, uh, use the shoulder thingy. Anyway, there's a battle ring up ahead. One minute battles begin when you enter a battle ring. Fight everything that enters the ring. The number of coins you get depends on the number of monsters you defeat, so fight hard. So yeah, up in here, 
there's like a little arena, and depending on how many enemies you kill, you get more and more money. Now, those aren't optional. You have to go through them every time. But, yeah. Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it is. Oh, okay, good. Whew. I hate that. All right, now we are going to do the Wario! Okay, anyway, that's probably going to be really loud. Anyway, these things are really annoying. Whenever you hit them, they move around. So, yeah. There are ones later on where you got to use those. Expect to be stumped for hours when you get to those ones. Trust me, they know how to make good, tough platforming thingies in this. Okay, come over here, and we get a little hidden red diamond thingy that can actually be really tough to find. Let me see here. Oh, this one's fun, I think. Ah. It's always really pretty simple platforming, at least until the final levels. But, yeah, it can be very tough to get through these sometimes. If you're not good platformer, or you're not used to how Wario controls, and believe me, he controls pretty slippery to the Wario, um... It can be pretty tough to get through these things, so I would say just take your time and just be sure you learn how Wario controls, because he can be kind of tricky if you're more used to Mario. Okay, so... Oh, no. Ah, dumb enemies, get out of the... No, no! Ah, he's deflecting me! Go away! <laughs> he's Batman! He's hitting me with a wooden bat! Oh! Ah, you see what I mean? Okay. So you gotta break these boxes down here, and it's only one box that has the exit spring. So it can be tough to figure your find your way out. Especially in the later ones where there's boxes all over the place, and it's really tough to find your way out. Because you can just have trouble finding the boxes. Why am I over here? Ugh, game. Why? I didn't fall uh whatever. Okay, get over here. Good. Big one on the first shot. Don't hit me. Oh, you hit me. How dare you hit me. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if I can spin away. Okay, good. And I made it. Okay, now you go away. Here we go. And all that just to get this one treasure. We get a thing. I don't know what it was. It looked kind of like a goblet of some kind. Okay. Jump up on the glue globes. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to call them the sticky balls. Because that's what they are. And plus, it's, it's just more fun to say that, because people can make jokes out of it. Yay, bowling for weak monsters! Oh, I love this game. Uh, the fun meter is definitely pretty high with this game. Uh, it, I just really wish that it was longer. That's all. It's amazing, but whatever. Anyway. Um, let's see, we've got 30 seconds left. Um... Now, one thing I should say is that you know how normally you gotta punch these guys, pick them up, and then spin them around and throw them to kill the bigger guys? Well, when you're spinning with a big guy, you instantly kill all other big guys if you manage to get a hit. So, that can be a very good way to take out a lot of enemies in these things quickly. And once you get through all the different waves of enemies, it just restarts with the older waves. So, yeah. Okay, more, more. Let's kill more. M money, money, need money. Awesome. Okay, how much do we get? That's a lot. Dang. Okay. Oh, by the way, you see these little totem poles? Uh, totem poles. You know, these little things. Wario is so epic that he can walk around and jump with them. Oh, what? No, don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Okay, and here's a chain, just in case you didn't see it. Uh, oh, right here. Go over here. Oh, okay, I didn't get it. Okay, we need something over there. Okay, here, let's punch this guy over first, because I don't... Ah! Go away! There we go. Wow, you only have to punch him three times. I thought it was going to be like you had to punch him three times in a row quickly, because, you know, you got to force him over, but whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be fun. See, now, here's this one thing that this game has over Super Mario Sunshine. You remember how in Super Mario Sunshine, when you'd come to a platform that was shaped like this in those platforming segments, and then you could fall through the friggin' floor? Well, that doesn't happen in this game. So, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine, eat it. Wario's a better platformer than you. Except not really. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know which one would be better. I mean... 
That's kind of a tough pick for me. I think I'd have to go with uh, Super Mario Sunshine, but that's just because of the length. Do the Wario! And in terms of fun, it's Wario, but in terms of length and gameplay, it's probably Mario, but whatever. But then again, Mario's not nearly as violent and fun as Wario. Isn't that what Americans love? What the? I didn't stop. I was blue. Oh, whatever. Oh, wait, actually, here. Don't even do that right now. Come up here and hit that. Okay. Because we have some stuff to get away. Thank you. Now, hit all the blocks. I think you want to hit them all. I think there's a switch down here. Yep, there is. I knew it. Oh, man, I have such a good memory. Okay. Anyway, go ahead and come up here because we need another enemy. Don't hit me. Yes. Okay, good. Now, go ahead and do our pile driver. And come down here. Wow. Okay. Ah. Now, this one can be weird if you get caught by one of those things and you get pushed off. But, yeah. Ah, no! No! Oh! Okay, now that's the really nice thing. If you fall off in one of the platforming segments, you don't take any damage, you don't have to re-get any items, and it's basically like nothing bad happens. Oh crap, no! Oh, oh. Game. Why do you do this to me? Come on, I love you, game! Don't you love me? Ah, uh, wait, no. Okay, um, this one can be tricky, as, you can, as you're seeing. Because, oh, whoa. Oh yes! Do the Wario! Yes, that one was actually... I earned that Wario doing. Okay. Go ahead and come out this way. And now we need to actually get up this ladder. Okay, come on. Thank you. Okay, now you actually do need to spin it in the correct direction. You actually need to hit the control stick, or you need to use a control stick in the correct direction in order to actually um, spin it in the right way. What the heck is it here? Let's check my treasures. What do we got here? Okay, I got six of eight health upgrades. I got all but one treasure, and I got the last switch. I have all but one of these little spritelings. Uh, and I have just two red diamonds to get. Not bad. Okay. And here's one of the red diamonds now. It's going pretty well. It's 20 minutes. Oh, boy. This is... Uh. Well, I just got to find them. That's annoying. Uh. Okay. Oh, third time's the charm. Woo! All right, where's the red diamond? Um, come on, this is boring. He sounds like he's throwing up when he picks it up. Listen. That's weird. Wario's awesome. Oh, come on, where is it? And of course, I can't spin into these and break it. Yes, I have tried it in here. I'll show you. You can't... At least, I really hope you can't. Come on. Thank you. See, you can't break it. So, yeah. Gotta do it one at a time. Here, I'll try throwing it just to be safe. Yep, you can. And these Wario heads are like, even though they're made of bricks or s cinder blocks or just rock or whatever it's made out of, they are tough. The only way I can do it is by throwing it. And when they do, they inexplicably catch on fire. Yeah, that's how awesome Wario is. When he throws rocks, they catch on fire. I could do that. Come on! Am I gonna have to? Oh, finally! There it is. Thank you. Do the Wario. What? Just, just from annoying me, I'm gonna throw one more there. Jeez. Okay. Ah. What the? Now these turtles, they can be real. What the? I got a cannonball with a face on it. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I think we're near the end. Ah, here's the sprite link. Give me. Yes. Okay, there we go. Many more of my friends. I don't care. Ah, there we go. The last red diamond. And there's the start over balloons. But I still need one more treasure. So we're going to be heading back a little ways. Not, we're not going to go back to the start. Because I think I remember where the last treasure is. But yeah. Last red diamond. Whoa. Oh, that's weird. See, and you hit, if you hit the control stick, you can zoom out. But, eh, that's, a, that's easy. There's not even any way you can fall. And we got the health upgrades. Do the Wario. Get out of here. And we still need one treasure, though, so I'm going to look back here. And here's the little octopus gemstone. Ah, here, here we go. Sweet. Oh, yeah. We got an NES. Yeah. You see? I knew it. Wario's a gamer, too. That was, All the stuff that you're getting is your own stuff. 
So yeah, Wario has an NES. Oh yeah. Okay. Ow. Hey. All right, where's a garlic man? I want some garlic. I forgot what this boss is. Ah, here we go. What the? Okay. Apparently I'm just bouncing. There we go. All right, now we can get going. Boom, let's do it. Who are you? Oh, I hate this guy. Okay, so here we got like a little thing. We have a goat horned worm thingy. Okay, now that's already one hit. Um, basically, he's just gonna stay here in the ground and then he'll burrow around. And then what you need to do is you just need to run through and hit him three times. And when you hit him on the third hit, he will take a damage. And then um, he'll chase you around with his pincer thingies. And then, oh, if you don't hit him all three times, he'll go somewhere else and he'll start spitting uh, spike balls at you. Yeah, really annoying. There we go. Now, you can actually jump out of the arena and you won't take any hits from anything. But, yeah. I'd say until he's using this move, uh, stay in the sand because it's not that hard to maneuver or anything. It's not at all like Wind Waker. You remember how um, how much how hard it was to maneuver in that room with Bulgara? It's nothing like that. It's just very slow moving sand. So yeah, he goes out in a he goes out in a blaze of money again, and then we get Wario's disturbingly beady eyes again and perfect teeth and fatness and him laughing. Oh dang, we got a lot of enemies that time. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Tons of money. Because money is awesome. Okay, and so with uh, getting all the health upgrades, we now have another heart. Or, I, yeah, we got all of them. Okay, good. So yeah, that is 100% in uh, World 1. Already, just two weeks of two videos. Yeah, whatever, anyway. And so, next time on Wario World, after I save it, I will move on. Come on. Next time on Wario World, we will fight the boss of this area, a green half of a snake head. So, see you guys later.